Well, hello there, boys and girls, and welcome to a brand new episode. So in this video, as you can see by the title, we'll be talking about and showcasing the famous one-step polish. So as you can see here, the car or this Audi here is in a very poor condition. But the customer has uh, asked for the one-step polishing process. We do not actually do this. But since the customer is a very good friend of mine, I will oblige to his requests. But to have the best results possible, um, I will explain to you a few tips and tricks on how to actually achieve that uh, result and also show you the difference between my polishing and someone else's one-step polishing. Because, well, since the very beginning, we've been chasing quality instead of quantity. So stay tuned and I will show you the best way, let's say, of uh, quality one-step polishing. And um, show you how to not do something. So, let's go. So let's start with choosing the polisher itself. So for one step polishing, uh, do not use the circular polisher. That's not the one you want to use. You want to use the double action polisher as seen here. So the double action polisher and a selection of a pad, you can do a one step polishing. And since this car has a very poor clear coat condition, as you can see, you see here and here and it's very destroyed. So we decided to use the double action polisher and a microfiber pad. This one specifically is from Meguiar's, made in USA. And now I will also uh, explain to you the choice of a polishing paste and explain how to get the best result with the one step polishing. Also, what to expect from it. Let me just put this machine down. So, since I work with Evo Car, a company, I use their own pace most of the time. Here we have a few other pace, but uh, Evo Car. For this job, I will probably use the fine cut paste, which has a cut 5 of 10 and gloss 10 of 10. It's a mid range paste, but also a finisher. So there are many paste that have uh, one-step polishing written on them, but those pastes are usually filled with fillers themselves. So you polish the car with that paste, it looks really nice until you have to go for the wash. And once you wash it, well, everything kind of comes back. And also, in some cases, it might even be worse than it was before the polishing. So bear that in mind. And because many of you asked me how I converted the flex light uh, from battery powered to electricity powered, I will tell you about this in one of my future videos. So we don't use battery power, we use electricity and it really works perfectly. You see that was the warm light, this is the cold light and it's wonderfully cold. Perfect for summer days. So, as I've said, so when you're choosing a paste, why did I choose fine cut? Because it has um, gloss 10 out of 10 and cut 5 out of 10. That's what I want, that's what I need for one step polishing. Because with this polishing, realistically, you want to remove 40 to 50% of all damage on the clear coat without leaving holograms. So how do we do this? We do this with a double action polisher. Here I also have a heavy cut paste. 
which is cut 10 of 10 and gloss 7 of 10. And it's also a very good paste for the one step polish if you choose the proper um, machine and proper pad. In this case, the microfiber pad. Now, when we're doing this uh, one step polishing, I, of course, use the degreaser as well because. Um, because I want to know what happens when the car gets washed. So we'll try to record all of this and explain as well. So the one-step polishing processes are much quicker than the regular polishing processes that I usually do. And um, it's basically just fooling the customer. The customer doesn't really know what they'll get with the one-step polishing. So now well, I will show you my way of doing the one-step polishing which is basically a high quality take on the one-step polishing and also to know what to expect once you finish the one-step polishing process of course when you're doing the one-step polishing you don't have to uh, stick around you basically just uh, go over it one, two or three times, they wipe it off, they don't degrease it or protect the parts of the cars, they do not take off the handles. We will do all of these things, but here I will just show you on this part what you get with the one step polishing. You put only a little bit of paste on the pad, not a lot. And let's say I'll do this part here. So I'll do everything uh, just like polishing process itself, but we will not press the machine too much because we don't want to make additional holograms. So let's see what we get after we finish. For this part, I'll use my super speed skills, something that I do not share with other polishing masters. See, I'm very quick and silent. And now that I'm wiping it off, what do we get? Let's see. So it looks perfect, doesn't it? Let me just degrease this as well. We want to degrease the paste. This gives us an insight on what it would look like if the car gets washed. And this is what you get with the one-step polishing. That, would, that has taken a very small amount of time, but this is also a very quality work, as you can see. So let me just show you in detail what we get. Just let me try to focus this. Uh, I'm not a videographer, you know, but I'll, I'm trying. Okay, so here we go. There are a few scratches left. You haven't removed them, not all of them, the big one. This one needs to be sanded down, so we're not doing this in one uh, step polishing. But look at the difference from the part that wasn't polished. It's quite dramatic, isn't it? So before and after. So there are no holograms, as you can see, compared to the lower part right here. You can see a lot of holograms. However, this is what I was telling you. You will have bits left after the polishing and these are the small scratches that you see here, right? So this is what you get when you zoom in. So that's about 40 to 50% of the work done. So after you remove those 50%, this is what you're left with. So if you want to do a quality work when it comes to one-step polishing, you can finish the car in about four or five hours if you're working alone. But uh, my advice is to use paste not for one-step polishing instead of paste that have no fillers that might uh, just wash off and also use a paste that have a lot of shine and will get the job done. So this is when it comes to this famous one-step polishing. The most important 
part is to find the correct combination of the materials with the pad and uh, not using the rotary pad, rotary machine, but a double action machine because you'll just make um, holograms. I do hope that this um, video has helped you a little bit when it comes to explaining this process because in my country the one step polishing costs from 30 to about 50 euro but also sometimes even 100 euro but it is highly low on quality as you can see here the bonnet has been painted so we're not going to be um, single polishing it we have to sand that down and do it properly the roof is also in a catastrophic condition as you can see here and yes the car when you're preparing the car you prepare it as you would for a regular polishing process that i do here all the time so you have to thoroughly wash the car, degrease the car because you don't want uh, a dirty pad after all which would leave um, damage on the car so now I will start polishing this car it will take me about seven hours to finish this car as I have also said in a very high quality manner and you will see the result as in what the car will look like after I finish in a high quality standard. So write in your comments if this helped, if it uh, made it clear for you, if, it's, if it makes uh, any sense to do a one step polishing or do a quality polishing process. And until next time, Boys and girls, stay safe, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell icon, etc, etc. And of course, comment. I'll be glad to answer your questions. And here I am now showing you what this looks like. This wonderful piece of engineering. Still some scratches left. So the results are not perfect. Remember, it's a one-step polishing process. It's not going to yield perfect results. See? Pretty good though. No holograms. Right? Yeah! There we go. Done. Done, done.